I'm very nervous about this episode for a couple of reasons. One, it's titled The Crybaby, and Takamishi is constantly called our crybaby hero, so it's never a good thing when he is crying as well. Two, last episode was super happy, and with shows like these, ReZero, Steins Gate, Erased, a lot of shows where it involves this sort of scenario, if you're happy, shit's about to hit the fan. And three, it's the season finale, so I know there's more to come, I'm so nervous and excited at the same time. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Tokyo Revengers, episode 24, the finale. With that being said, before I jump into anything, the full length, which is normally available on Patreon as a tier, is available for free with the first and last episode of every show, of every season of every show that we watch here on the channel. So make sure to click that link in the top of the description, watch that full length for free. If you enjoy that, consider keeping the Patreon, consider checking that out to keep that in the future. Come back here for the review and then enjoy that. It's going to be a great time. Real quick, just want to let you guys know that this episode of Tokyo Revengers is actually sponsored by Boksu. Boksu is a premium Japanese snack box subscription service that sends you a plethora of Japanese snacks and teas to go along with them. Every month you guys will get a new box and they'll all have different snacks because every month has a different theme. Before you guys buy or if you already are buying, you guys can always check the website to see what the monthly theme is so you guys kind of have a clue of what to expect in that box. The box itself and all the snacks are all from Japan and shipped straight from Japan to you guys for free, especially in the US, which is awesome. Trust me when I tell you the snacks in this box are fantastic. I have been a personal fan of Boxu for many, many months, and the fact that they wanted to sponsor me, I was so excited and so happy to work with them. The snack makers that they partner with have been in business making snacks for 100 plus years, and because they have such a good partnership with them, they're able to. those companies are able to make snacks exclusively for Boxu, so you won't be able to find them anywhere else. So a huge thank you to Boksu for sponsoring me and supporting small creators. If you guys would like to support me as well and get some fantastic snacks at the same time, use my link in the top of the description and in the pinned comment or use code DAPPER10 for 10% off your subscription. And trust me when I say when you open up that first box, you guys will not be disappointed at all. Fantastic value. But just in case you guys aren't sold yet, I kind of have a surprise with the box in terms of proving how good these snacks inside are. I brought Marcel, my friend over from an OG OG reaction days, and he's going to be blindfolded and he's going to taste some of these snacks and not have any idea what they are. And he's going to let us know his first thoughts. I'm going to be putting a picture of the brochure up on the screen so you guys know exactly what this is I'm giving him because I'm sure you guys can't tell from this. But let's see what he thinks of this. All right, let's see what he thinks. Cookie. What the? What the? Is it good? Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Mm. Oh, yeah. That one was an apple caramel cookie. We call it a sable, but that was an apple caramel cookie, and it tasted mighty sweet, yeah, mighty I fine. Yeah, the caramel. So let's go on to number two. Oh, this is ooh, ooh, I can smell this off rip. How's it taste? Oh, wow, dude, it's like ratatouille with the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> And this is a chocolate infused strawberry. Oh, it's so good. I yes. Like yeah, thankfully there's one more whole one that I'm going to be eating because he's not going to be getting all the good snacks. But this one definitely looks 10 out of 10 for sure. I'm very excited for that. Oh, that's, a, that's 11 out of 10. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. Mm. But it's not overbearing in any way. It's very good. I really like that texture. No, that's, that's definitely delicious. That would be good. So as you can tell, those snacks were super tasty, super delicious. We had a great time, especially that strawberry. Very, very tasty. Trust me on that. So don't forget, use code DAPPER10. Check out the links in the description or in the top comment. Click that link and get yourself some box suit today. You guys will not be disappointed in the slightest. Trust me. Tokyo Revengers, episode 24, A Crybaby. Let's do this. <laughs> What do you have to say, Hanma? So Kisaki's plans still seems like it's going to Kisaki's plan. Like Mikey's gonna be the leader of everything, which is what happened last time. Let's hear his name. Baji himself, yep. I was just about to say that Kisaki is the enemy. If only Mikey heard Baji say that. Like, ugh. Episode 24, a crybaby. So they shake hands with the blessing of Kisaki like that, uh. 
Wonder if Chief Wu is going to take Baji's place, or if we're going to have another kind of election type situation to to replace Baji. That's a good way to keep Chief Wu in there. I won't lie. That's a that's a bar. Okay, that's what I was curious about. So you're going to be the deciding factor. So it's good news. I was super worried the news is going to be bad, but I actually like that. It gives us more reach, more power to be able to change what we want to change. I do. He did say, I leave Mikey and Tomon to you. Please protect it. Shouts out Takamichi. Keep fighting. You have a lot more to do. And I have full faith that you're going to do it to the best of your abilities. That's my dog right there. <laughs> if only you guys knew. If only you knew. Akamichi is first division captain. Ooh, I love it. Is this present time? Are we going to the... Okay, we're cutting back to the present. Oh, he's not working here. He's a customer. Still has the scar on his hand. Yeah, where'd you get the watch? He's got slicked back hair? My man looks so different. Don't tell me that's Kazushi. Who? He has the same color hair. So him going from normal Takamichi to the first division captain has changed the future a lot. I need some names because these guys look mad different. Yeah, so that is Kazushi. That's what I was saying. Yup, Makoto and Takuya. Oh my god, they look so different. This is so different. This is not what I was expecting in the slightest. Oh, he's, he's going to get a big head. <laughs> you have like a penthouse now. Oh, it's Shifuyu. What the hell? What's up, buddy? Don't tell me that's how it's ending. Okay, good. I was going to be so heated. Tomon in the future has connections, has money. We, I see Pa, one of the guys I've constantly seen, Hanma. Who is that, Peking Duck? That looks delicious. You got out of jail. Muto, that's the huge guy, right? Anma looks kind of swaggy in the future. I won't lie. I love I love his hair, his earrings, his fit. He looks just like the Hanma who was with him, you know, all that. Yeah. That reminds me of Hunter Hunter. They said it the same exact way. Yudas. Oh, hell no. This is our first time talking with present day Kisaki. 
I do like his earring though. A lot of them have dope fits in the future. I won't lie, they're pretty dapper. You just had it built? Oh my god, the amount of funds they have. They are something else. どう思ってる恨んでるだろうあの季節だったならバジが死んだのはあれは全部俺のせいだ死のハロウィンは俺が仕組んだんだ I am the opening up about that. That's definitely interesting. But yeah, of course, Takamichi already knew. I wonder if this is still a part of his plan or if this is sincerity. I never would have thought I would see Kisaki do this. Okay. Okay, I'm very curious. The Baji. I cannot believe Takamichi is an exec with everyone else. That is still crazy to think about. I literally was just saying, I cannot... Don't tell me this is how it's ending. He wanted Baji to die so Mikey could kill. This is the Kisaki I was more expecting. The drink was poisoned? Laced? He fully was a real one. There's no way. There's no way. No way. Don't you dare do it. If you kill Chifuyu, I'm a blue skadoo. We can too. Jump in this show and help Takamichi out myself. I'm killing you. He actually got executed on death row? Don't say it like that. Oh. Look at the resolve on that man's face. Why are you crying, Kisaki? That's no ending. What? Oh my goodness. That ending. That. Oh. Season two is going to be a banger. That talk literally talk about a cliffhanger oh my god bracken's been executed shifuyu literally just got executed and a little, mikey still is just in the wind disappeared we need to go back and change some shit but we're in the worst predicament possible oh my god we got to see grown up Makoto, Takuya, and Kazushi. They're all under. I'm guessing they're all in our division. This is not even like divisions anymore. Like execs and we have newer execs and older execs. There's so many characters that are going to play a super big important role. I am still just fucking flabbergasted. Oh my god. Chifuyu's been trying to undermine Kisaki this whole time. I knew he wasn't being sincere when he apologized about Baji. Fuck Kisaki, man. God damn it. I like Chifuyu so much, too. We didn't even get to see Mitsuya. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. 
God damn it. I'm literally just struck. I'm awestruck for words. I'm jaw dropped. I don't even, I can't even think straight. I gotta get out of here. I gotta end this episode right now. Oh my God, that shit was crazy. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys want early access or full length to any of the other shows I'm watching. Follow all the social medias at Dapper Darius. Drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. If you see any Kisakis, beat their ass. Peace out, Dapper Squad.